Hey, how you doing? Arthur Wu here with the review and test of the Alien Bees B800, a versatile strobe flash by Paul C. Buff. They're an excellent option if you're looking for a good quality strobe that won't break the bank. Let's go over some of the specs before seeing it in use. It comes with a modeling lamp and a small reflector, which is useful in some cases, but to really start seeing the benefits of any strobe, like the B800, you'll want to pick up a modifier or two, such as a softbox, beauty dish, or an octobox. There are also some inputs for remote triggers such as pocket wizards or radio poppers. And it needs to be powered externally. So you can either plug it into a wall socket or use Paul Buff's portable battery unit, the Vagabond 2. Let's take a look at some of the shots taken with the B800. This first one here of, of uh, Leia, she's basically standing by a tree with a B800 uh, 45 degree angle above her camera left with a softbox on it. You can see it's really, uh, the, shadow, the shadows are really soft and the light quality coming out of it is, is really nice. It just gives her um, a really soft looking skin and so on. This next one here, we have a black and white photo, but there's basically one B800 right above the model here with a giant softbox on it. Uh, here we have another one where um, the background is actually, there's a white cloth in the back and then there was a, a B800 behind it bare with the uh, power turned all the way up, and then one B800 right above her uh, without a modifier as well. So the, the shadows are a little bit more hard in this one, but uh, essentially you can see uh, just the different qualities of light that the B800 give you based on the modifiers that you're using. And this was actually shot with Profoto. So, you know, this is a little bit more high key but than the others because there's less shadows, but I mean, that doesn't really matter because the lights were set up in a completely different configuration. So the light quality is pretty similar as far as you know the B800 compared to the, the Pro Photo. Uh, essentially, the difference is that we have a, just a lot more lights here, and uh, I think they were all soft boxes as well. So, I mean, you're gonna get the same thing if you had the B800 here, just from my experience, you, just comparing just to different models of lights. This is basically natural light coming directly. Um, just, you know, we were, we were in a hotel room, the light was fading. The overhead lights didn't look good, so we just said, let's look out the window, let's take, let's use a reflector. That's basically what we did, and you know, it looks like it was lit with a light, but it, you know, it was just sunlight coming through with a reflector on the bottom. And it all really depends on, you know, the model, the makeup artist, the hairstylist, the wardrobe, all that comes into account. So, you know, don't, don't forget that, you know, it's not just about the lights, it's more about the overall feel you're trying to capture and, and whether or not you can use, utilize the lights to, to bring that out. So if you're on a budget or just getting started, the Alien B strobes are some of the most economical and reliable units on the market. They're great to grow with until you start stepping into the higher end work where you'd look for more consistency, better build quality, or if you end up renting a lot, for example. And so for beginner or mid-level shooters though, it's important, more important to learn how to use the lights and the modifiers to get your desired outcome instead of paying hundreds or several thousand more for higher end strobes without really knowing how to make use of them. One area to consider is the build quality though. Um, they are made of plastic, so you have to be careful when traveling with and handling them. Um, you know, with that said, Paul C. Buff's customer service is top notch. I had a B800 on a light stand and it fell down because accidents happen and uh, the plastic around the socket back here broke, so it was really difficult to connect the plug into it. I contacted the support team and uh, told them what happened and they actually replaced the socket for free under warranty. So it's pretty cool of them to do. So thank you guys for that. Now, if you're already thinking about going with Alien Bees and just checking this video out just to see more specs about it, um, a question might be, which one would you choose? There are so many different options, the B800, the B400, and the 1600. Well, I would say if you're shooting mostly outdoors and trying to overpower the sun, the B1600 would probably be your best choice. You can still shoot in direct sunlight with the B800, but depending on how far away you get from the subject, you might not get the coverage you need if you're going full body shots. And the B400 would be good if you need an extra rim or hair light or background light. So I shoot in various conditions uh, and locations and found the B800 to be very versatile as far as power goes and would highly recommend it as a first strobe or a set of strobes. So I hope this was helpful in your strobe finding quest. If you have any questions, please post them below and I'll be happy to answer them. And you can subscribe to this channel and visit ArthurWu.com for more photo and video reviews. All right, guys. Peace.